Today on Gardening with Greg, we're talking greenhouses. Today I want to share with you the greenhouse that we have and use to start our own transplants. Some of this information may be beneficial to you if you decide to put your own greenhouse in and grow your own transplants. We grow about a quarter of an acre garden pretty much year round. And this eight by 16 greenhouse here gives us ample room to grow all the transplants that we use in our garden. And plus we grow a lot of other transplants that we get to share with our friends. We live about a hundred miles from the coast, the Gulf Coast. And we live in an area that's pretty warm, not a lot of snow, if any. We live in zone eight. So some of the things that's important to us for a greenhouse is having a good, sturdy structure. The greenhouse that I put in, I put in on a footing system just like you would a house. And this was really important last year when we had a hurricane come through and our greenhouse withstood the hurricane. This style of greenhouse works well for us. We have an eight mil polycarbonate outer covering there and the tight roof system we got works fine for us because we don't get any snow. Now if I lived up north where I got a lot of snow and I need to load bearing roof, this wouldn't work. So it's important to pick out the style of structure for greenhouse for you that works in your area. Now keep in mind your most precious commodity in the greenhouse is shelf space. I have two foot shelves on each side of my greenhouse. It gives us enough room to put a lot of different flats. And then in the busy season, when the greenhouse gets crowded, I put pallets down on the floor and I can put my overload down on the bottom. If I had one complaint about this greenhouse here is the walkway in the middle is too wide. And there's a lot of wasted space there. It's about a five and a half foot walkway there. And that's really way more than what I need. Shelf space is your most important thing, so keep that in mind. Down here in the south where we live, we very seldom have a hard winter. Most of our winters we have 20, 25 days at the most below freezing. So what's important to us more than insulated value of our greenhouse is airflow and circulation. Because even in the wintertime, this greenhouse can get really hot real quick. Now, if we have a cold night where it's getting down to 25 or 23 degrees, we will roll our curtain down and I will put a little gas heater inside. And the next morning I come up when the sun starts coming up and it starts warming up, I turn my heater off and I roll my curtain back up. And this gives us good airflow because even in the winter time, sometimes this thing can get real hot in a hurry. Most of the year, these curtains stay all the way up. Now, in the wintertime, we will close them at nighttime and then raise them up during the daytime. There's very few days during the year that we will leave these curtains closed all the way down. Now, the polycarbonate covering that we have is the 8 mil. And I'll be honest with you, it's worked pretty good for us. We've gotten about eight years out of it, and you see it's got some wear on it, and we'll probably replace it this fall. Now, a greenhouse can be a substantial investment, but it's one of the things I enjoy the most on the homestead. It gives us the opportunity to grow our own plants. We can grow the varieties we want to grow. And plus, we can control when those come off. So we can control the timing of our plants, when we're going to plant them, and we can plant out our garden and grow in our own food year-round. And I'll be honest with you, I use the greenhouse just about year-round. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode, and maybe you found some of this information helpful. We'll see you next week on Gardening with Craig. <music>